Beasts that can bring their power under control are extremely rare, but they do exist. And the Jingle Beast, it happened a long, long time ago. The Jingle Beast wasn't called the Jingle Beast. It used to have a name. It was called Swan Ni. Back then, the Swan Nis lived a tranquil life in deep forests. However, when the tacit fields expanded rapidly, their territories were not spared. Some of them had to encroach upon certain human territories for a chance to survive. Humans suffered greatly against the Swan Nis with their terrifying appearance, powerful resonance abilities, and wild animal instincts. And that's why the Swanese were deemed evil. Uh, I read it in an old book in Huanglong. Said they lived under that giant violet banyan tree in the dim forest. The Swanese have nearly gone extinct over the years. And now, there might be only one of them remaining. And I've heard of an interesting theory from the archaeologists. That last Swanee might have yearned to become a human. To make itself more approachable, it first came up with a less intimidating name. Something like the Jingle Beast. And then it yanked off all its fur filed down its claws, twisted its bones, and learned to stand upright. Maybe it was drawn by the bustle and merriment of human cities. It must have been lonely as the last of its kind. Maybe it was moved by human bravery against the lament and wanted to offer help. Maybe it wanted to fight the catastrophe that ruined its once homeland. Or maybe it simply couldn't resist human foods. Anyway, it never really became a human in the end. If it truly wanted to become human, it had to first understand the essence of what makes a human. If you ask me, the essence would be the heart of a human. Therefore, the Jingle Beast no longer rejected its appearance and began to, in its animal form, connect with humans to assist them. Perhaps, in this process, it happened to save a girl in the wilderness. Rover, what do you think the ending for the Jingle Beast was? Did it finally become a human? Well, is that what you think? I think the Jingle Beast no longer cares whether it's a human or a beast. It lives in its own way. In this world, there are beings with the appearance of a beast and the soul of a human, just as there are beings with the appearance of a human and the soul of a beast. All it needs to do is be true to itself. It will remain resolute and convey the beautiful and inspiring qualities it once saw in humans in its own way. Oops, I got carried away and almost forgot. Here, keep this bell as a memento. Thank you, Rover.
Wing Yang, come here. Coming. Rover, I must go get the props ready for the next show. Come watch my performance again next time. Food's on me. Please keep this bell. It should bring you good luck. Fare thee well, blessings swell.